Extreme Trends presents a 17-year-old complains of a stomach ache to the school nurse, only to die just hours later. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. For many students, routine is everything. Caught up in an endless round of classes, assignments, and evaluations, one day blurs into the next. Before you know it, you're graduating. We depend on familiar routines to get us through the day. Life becomes predictable, and we feel comfortable believing that we know what to expect. But sometimes, life throws unexpected curveballs. On just another typical Tuesday in Perlin, Texas, 17-year-old Joshua Gray was getting ready to go to Glenda Dawson High School after breakfast. His mother handed him his lunch, including the same sandwich he had preferred since kindergarten, turkey with the bread crusts cut off. The young man grabbed it and headed out the door to catch his friends, who would be driving him to school. Although the day began like any other, it would end in tragedy. Josh Gray seemed to be a perfectly happy, healthy, smart, funny, and social student who impressed his friends with a sense of hipster style. As his mother recalled, on his last day, he wore the skinniest khakis. Lori Gray said that her son was a bit of a fashionista. By all accounts, he was just a normal teenager. He enjoyed playing golf, he was in advanced placement classes, he had a healthy appetite, and like most teenage boys, he enjoyed sleeping a lot. Until that particular Tuesday, there had been no indication that the young man wasn't in perfect health. Yet this Tuesday would be his last day on Earth. He would never get the chance to eat the lunch his mother had packed. No one could have known that he was about to become gravely ill as he sat quietly in his morning class. At around 11 a.m., Josh began feeling intense pain in his stomach. It was so bad that he asked to leave the classroom and headed to the school's nurse's office. Soon after that, it became clear that this was no ordinary sore stomach, as the pain steadily grew more intense. Finally, the nurse called emergency responders, and Josh was taken by the ambulance to the Texas Children's Hospital. At the emergency room, the doctors raced to save him as his pulse repeatedly dropped, but by the middle of the afternoon, Joshua Gray had passed away. Everyone, his family, his friends, friends, the staff at the school, and members of his community, they were all devastated. Nobody could explain what had happened. A healthy young student was merely attending class just like every other day. How could things have happened so fast? It seemed like a freak accident. As Lori Gray said, the family weren't given many answers at first. At 11.30, it's his stomachache. By 3 in the afternoon, he's gone. Family and friends could only speculate as they came together at his home that Tuesday night. They told stories about Josh's life as they gathered around some of his most cherished belongings. His collection of Beatles and Stroke CDs, his pictures of mallard ducks, a Kermit the Frog pillow, a giant-sized Darth Vader figure, and a rack overflowing with the many pairs of shoes he'd collected over the years. His friends remembered Gray as a fun, loving, and accepting person who loved people exactly as they were. His friend, Austin Hurst, told the local news that Josh loved everyone for who they were. Hurst said, I'm loud and obnoxious. He loved that about me. I mean, he loved all of us for exactly who we are. And that was the best part about being with Josh. You could be you. The stunned and grieving community simply couldn't make sense of the teen's sudden death. Even representatives from the local medical examiner's office said that they've never seen anything like it in 40 years. Sadly, it seems as though there was nothing anyone could have done differently to prevent Josh's shocking and unexpected death. Further investigations revealed that an artery leading to Josh's pancreas had ruptured. Soon afterwards, the pancreas also ruptured, causing uncontrollable internal bleeding. Though they couldn't be absolutely certain, the medical examiners explained that the rupture could have been caused by an unnoticed malformation that Josh could have had since birth. Shortly after his unexpected death, a GoFundMe page was created, and Lori Gray said that the $35,000 that it raised would be used in Josh's honor for research and finding a cure for rare underlying diseases. The Josh Gray Memorial Scholarship would also be created to help further education for students who exemplify exceptional integrity, compassion, kindness, and embrace individuality in all. And though Lori Gray tragically lost her young son, as she told the local news, I will never lose touch with all of his friends, and I'll always see him through them. Joshua Gray's story is a reminder that every day truly is precious, and nobody ever knows when their time could be up. Instead of simply falling into a routine and moving through life like a robot, we should take the time to notice the world around us. We can learn an important lesson from Josh, who loved his friends and made the most of every day. We should enjoy every day and love and appreciate those around us. Thank you for watching this fantastic story. Please tap one of the two videos on your screen for another amazing Extreme Trends story.